Hey guys, welcome back. Whiskey tasting right now. And I have today is the Highland Park Anar. So, man, I'm, I'm excited to do this for you guys. This is a whiskey that is actually, you cannot get this here in the US. It is travel exclusive only. And this is from my new sponsor, Juan P. The Don. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Good friend of mine at work. And, you know, he got this from the Royal Caribbean uh, trip when he was out of the country. And I, I didn't think he was going to be able to do it. And he came through and I'm excited. So I have not opened it up yet because I only have one. And once you open this, it might be gone. And, and I'm afraid, you know. I won't be able to review it because it's been the holiday season and for Thanksgiving, Christmas, now New Year's is coming up. I wanted to just keep it here and let me do my review on it first and then share with all my friends and family um, what Highland Park Travel Exclusive has to offer uh, as far as the, the Warrior Series. And this, this whiskey right here is aged in both American and European oak x sherry and we'll see let me open it up here oh man where's my glass crap I'll be right back hold on Wow. All right, guys, I am back. I can't believe I forgot my whiskey glass, but let's go ahead and get started on this. And this is gonna be their, their second expression. They have a total of six. Holland Park wanted to go back and honor their Viking descendants. So the first bottle that they had for the Viking descendant expressions is actually this vein. And that's about $48, $48. I don't know if I can find it anywhere, but this is the second one that they had, Highland Park Anar. And this is gonna be around 58 to 60 bucks, $68 actually. And the third one is the Herald. And that's gonna be around 98 bucks and Number four is the Sea Guard, and that's around $182. Number five is the Ragnavald, and that's gonna be around 500 to 600 bucks. And then the last expression for the Warrior Series is gonna be the Thorfinn, which is around $1,400 to $1,500. So a lot of those last four or five, no way in my price range and I will probably never ever get a chance to taste it um, you know maybe if they offer it in a glass I'll uh, you know if I can afford it maybe for 15 bucks a glass I'll try it out but uh, about the um, the history on this bottle uh, Anar is actually um, a Viking warrior and a ruler uh, he is known for his mighty axe and he was the Earl of Orkney at one time from 1014 to 1020 BC. Uh, I don't know if it's BC, but yeah, it's 1014 to 1020. And basically, this is going to be at 40% alcohol by volume. And this is the big boy. This is the, the leader, the one leader. Let's go ahead and give it a pour here. Whoa, that is a lot. Okay. Wow, I smell that. That's, that's a very, very nice aroma. I'm getting like smoky. I can smell it just off the glass, but let's, let's talk about a little bit of the bottle design. Uh, they didn't go too crazy too much on the etching here. They just have the big H, the symbol. Uh, stands for Highland Park. Um, you know, it's it's a nice simple clean bottle 
it is transparent the whiskey color it has that goldish amber color to it so um yeah anyways about about the background i'm so glad i was able to come out here and it's been raining that rain has been pounding the grass it's been soggy out here i haven't been able to cut the grass and uh you know trim up my hedges so i'm just glad to be out here i'm happy it's a beautiful day out um the kids are still sleeping and tomorrow we'll be flying to see my family in ohio so um <clears throat> you know just a little bit about today um but let's go ahead and get back to the whiskey I'm getting a little bit of a smoky uh, note on the nose. It's it smells is a little bit citrusy, mixed with vanilla. Definitely the smoke, like a, just a, a hint, leathery. All right, on the palate. Hold on, man. I'm excited. Hold on. Let me prepare myself because this is something I haven't had before. And this is it for the bottle. Hopefully it's good. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. My friend Joe... Friend Joe's gonna love this one. Um, guys, this is, wow. It's mellow. Wow. It's very smooth. That's, you know, very subtle. Vanilla, hint of oakiness to it. Oh man, it does not taste young at all. It tastes like it's, 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 it's slightly aged. Try it again on the palate. A little bit of the tropical floral notes to it. A small hint of that butterscotch is coming out of it mixed with caramel it's there um it has that nice hint of smoke and it's not overbearing on the nose earlier i i, I could just smell it because the wind was picking it up it smelled a little bit too smoky but now on the palate it's it's a hint of smoke and it's very nice it just tastes tastes very balanced so um Let's see on the finish here. Wow. It's been consistent. The finish is medium to to um it's got a quick finish to it, but a little bit of that that spiciness lingers a little bit, and now I'm getting I'm getting like a slight oiliness that that is coating my palate, my tongue. Um, but it's very pleasant, and it does not taste young, and it's not thick, it's not thin, it's right in the middle. So this is a perfect perfect one to have out there um, for people to to grab in the global uh, retail so I'm, I'm glad that uh, I have that that is awesome that is that is really good man I'm very uh, excited about that now I'm a big fan of the ANR um, but uh, you know <clears throat> that's the uh, Highland Park for you right there they have that signature smoke and I think that this is a, a best way to um, 
you know, put your whiskey out there for the world. And this is a really great expression. Um, yeah, man, this is this is beer that was left over from my brother. I, I got him a keg. So I'm happy that I got him that because I've been I've been drinking it because once I once I leave it, I'm going to be back in about a week and I'll probably just send that whiskey back or that uh, that keg back to Total Wine and get my money back on the <clears throat> on the keg. But my brother surprised me today for Christmas and he got me something very special and this is a whiskey that is going to be rare well right now it's already rare and let me just show you what he got me uh, I'm just you know stoked and I can't wait to share with everybody what notes I'm getting out of this when I finally open I don't know if I'll ever open it maybe when I find another bottle but you all know what this is. This is the Yamazaki, 12 years old. So I finally got one and I didn't think I'll ever get one, but my brother surprised me, bro. Harold, thank you, man. I love you, bro. This is just awesome. So this is my highlight of 2019 Christmas. You know, thank you, bro. This is just amazing. <clears throat> but that will be a review probably sometime in the in the future i don't know if it's going to be near but we'll see man we'll see you know i can't open something that it's not going to be available for the next six to eight years because right now japanese whiskeys are low in supply and who knows when when they'll come back maybe eight years from now you can get a the yamazaki 12 but enough of that when you go and travel grab a bottle of this it is really good i love it that i will definitely try to get this whenever um you know whenever I have money of course <laughs> uh and also whenever i go take a cruise um precisely the royal caribbean so guys until next time enjoy your families holiday season you know new year's is coming up drink responsibly and have fun all right guys i'll see you cheers